Have you ever found yourself in a social setting, maybe a party or a business meeting or even an online event where you felt like the outsider, where you felt that tight knot of anxiety in your chest as if you're walking on a tightrope of social expectations? If so, this episode is tailor-made especially for you. Today, I'm gonna to be diving into a topic that's fundamental to our human experience, but often overlooked, emotional agility, especially in the context of managing social anxiety and stressful situations. This isn't just about tips and tricks to feel better in the moment. We're talking about setting up a sustainable mental framework that you can rely on time and time again. Trust me, by the end of this episode, you'll have the tools or you have some tools to navigate any social terrain with so you can do this with unrelenting purpose and indestructible confidence. Will you please do me a huge favor? Please click that like button and smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the tools that I release each week. So let's go ahead and jump on in. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share a few insights with you and that way, and in each insight, what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, gonna break each insight down into the tools that makes that insight a little more rich to you. So insight number one is understand the source of your anxiety. Understanding the root cause of your social anxiety is pretty vital. Without that root cause, you're treating the symptoms and not the source. So here are some common root causes. Root cause number one is the fear of judgment. Are you worried about what others will think of you? I want you to remember that nobody's scrutiny of you is harsher than your own. Being aware of this can be liberating. Root cause number two is low self-esteem. Do you feel like you're not good enough? Understand that everyone has unique gifts and challenges. And that's what I love about being a coach because I get to walk with people and help bring those unique gifts and, and things out to the forefront, those strengths. But remember that everyone has unique gifts and challenges. Recognizing your worth can be the first step in building confidence. Root cause number three is past experiences. Have past failures made you anxious? Remember that each moment is a new opportunity to redefine yourself. So don't let the past handcuff your present. Now let's go ahead and jump back into insights. Insight number two is emotional agility. Emotional agility is more than just a catchphrase. It's a life skill. Here's how you can build emotional agility. So way number one that you can build emotional agility is acceptance. Acknowledge your emotions without judgment. This acceptance frees you from the loop of denial and suppression. Number two, way number two is curiosity. Ask yourself why you feel this way. Why do you feel the way you do? Digging deeper into your emotions can reveal patterns and also reveal triggers. Way number three is channeling emotions. Use your understanding of your emotions to channel them constructively. Now, this is gonna sound crazy to you, but I want you to know that anxiety can actually be a great motivator if you let it. All right, so let's go ahead and move back to the insights. That was insight number two. Insight number three is the power of perspective. A change in perspective can make a world of difference. Instead of seeing social events as battlegrounds where you must prove yourself, view them as opportunities. I actually use this this a whole lot, this insight a lot. You can use these, these social settings as opportunities to learn, to network, and even to help others. When you shift your focus from yourself to the value that you can provide, you'll notice a decrease in social anxiety. So let me go ahead and give you two tips that you can implement. Tip number one, shift from me to we. When you focus on how you can contribute to the event or situation, it shifts your attention away from yourself and away from your anxieties. And tip number two is see the opportunity. Every interaction has something valuable to offer. It could be a lesson, it could be a new friend, or maybe it's a business connection. Always look for the silver lining. All right, so back to the insights. We just finished up insight number three. Insight number four is practicing mindfulness. Now, mindfulness helps you become aware of your thoughts and feelings. Techniques such as deep breathing or grounding exercises can act as an anchor, bringing you back to the present moment when anxiety starts to creep in. With deep breathing, this is a simple, but it's also a powerful technique. This technique can actually calm your nervous system in seconds. Now with the grounding technique, 
you can use your senses to ground yourself. You can touch your fingertips or focus on your breathing or your breath. It brings you back to the present moment. We just finished up insight four. Insight five is preparation is key. Let's not forget that knowledge is power. If you're going to a business event, know your stuff. If you're going to a social gathering, maybe read, read up some on some current events. This gives you topics to discuss and it can also give you the confidence that comes from being prepared. And I want you to know that the confidence that comes from being prepared is often enough to squash any onsite of anxiety. So here are three tips that go along with this insight that you can implement. Tip number one is educate yourself. Read up on people, current events, or industry trends that will be relevant to the social setting. Tip number two is rehearse. Practicing simple conversation starters or having some questions ready can help you break the ice. Tip number three is visualize. Spend a few minutes imagining a successful social interaction. It sets a positive tone for the real experience. All right, so in conclusion, I want you to know that emotional agility is your key to social freedom. It's not about avoiding anxiety, it's about understanding and using it to your advantage. Through emotional agil agility, you can rise above social fears and truly elevate to great. Now, if you found value in today's episode, do me a favor, click the link in the description to sign up for a one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Let's work together to develop your own unrelenting purpose and indestructible confidence so we can squash that social anxiety. In the comments below, tell me if you found this episode helpful, have any additional insights on this topic. I want you to know that I really love hearing from you and your input in the comments below could be helpful to others too. I invite you to join the Elevators inbox at brianrobinsoncoaching.com for some helpful tips, tools, and resources sent to your inbox each week. I promise you that I won't spam you and you can unsubscribe at any time. I have very, 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 very few people unsubscribe and it's great. So go ahead and join the Elevators Inbox. And finally, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Coach Brian.